I was in the wrong airport, didn't know it until I took off the next day. My father was a World War II pilot, and he uh, didn't fly after the war, but he was interested in model airplanes. So I grew up as a boy in my dad's house, learning how to fly, build model airplanes, and uh, always dreamed of building my own. While I was a boat captain in St. Martin and, and in the British Virgin Islands, I, I used to work for a yacht charter company down there. Uh, I was skipper and sailboats for people. While I was down there, I, I got started flying. There was an airplane in the British Virgin Islands that had an American registration, a U.S. registration, so I was able to get it, get, rent that airplane, and start my lessons. And uh, one of the things that I did as a boat skipper would be take as the, it would be to sail the boats in between the islands. A lot of times the tourists would, would get the, uh, the boats in, in St. Martin, rent the boat over there, and sail it downwind to Tortola and drop it off. So it's a one-way charter. You get to experience two different sections of islands, or, or Antigua to St. Martin, or Grenada to St. Lucia, or St. Lucia to Grenada. And, and they would hire smucks like me to b break the boats back upwind. Well, I figured if I had an airplane, I could take, take these, because we had to get airlines to get back. So I got my license and got back here to Fort Worth and finished my license. I, I didn't get it in the Virgin Islands. That's where I started to learn to fly. I, got a, I bought a plane. The day after I got my license, I left Parker County Airport over Weatherford and flew to Clearwater, Florida to get on an airliner to go get a sailboat and bring it back to Clearwater for sale. So I was making my living transporting these boats. There's a story how uh, a, a Southwest airline landed at the wrong airport. It's, fairly, it's actually fairly common. But uh, during that trip, I went in, this, in my airplane and I went and landed at uh, Cross City, Florida, thinking it was the next airport over. And I spent the night, I talked to a guy at the gas station there, at the air, airplane gas station, told him I didn't hear you on the radio. He said, oh, I was probably away from the radio. I went in, walked into town, which was a few blocks, got up dinner, spent the night in my tent, because I didn't quite get to Clearwater. It was out in the, the bend, Cross City, of Florida, in the, up in the, almost in the panhandle. When I took off the next morning, my navigation system said I wasn't where I thought I was. I was 50 miles short. <laughs> First flight, wink, ink was still wet. I was in the wrong airport, didn't know it until I took off the next day. Fast forward, I'm, I get my airplane and fly it to St. Martin, and I'm working with the yacht charter companies, and I've got this uh, Beechcraft Bonanza, and instead of being the smuck slogging up wind for 23 hours to get from Tortola back to St. Martin, I'm making the same dollar amount by going and getting those guys or girls and flying them back, and it takes me a couple of hours. It was, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven.